Grace, peace, and blessings be unto you. I am Apostle BBJ, visionary and founder of God Core Ministries, and we are the Kingdom Power Moving Church. I want to share this marketplace ministry moment with you. The Bible says this in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 1. Know this, that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Surely we are living in perilous times. What are perilous times, Apostle? Perilous times are times of great danger, times that, that are full of risks, confusion, and, and great delusion. But the Bible lets us know that there's no other name given under heaven amongst men whereby we must be saved. For at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. I don't care how big of a star you are. Uh, I don't care how much money you got or what type of car you drive. I want to tell you something. Real stars shine because of the sun. Hallelujah. And I'm talking about the S-O-M. Matter of fact, people often say, Apostle, you know, I'm going through this and I don't know how to come out. I feel stuck like Chuck. I always tell people, and I keep it 100, why be stuck on stupid when you could go forward in favor? You cannot move or elevate without the illumination and revelation of the word of God. For God's word is his bond. That's why here at God Core, the foundation of our faith in everything we do deals with the word of God. For God's word is his bond. It will not return into a void. But to help you to, to unstick yourself, to, to, to free yourself so you can be yourself, so you don't be tied up and tangled up in trying to figure it out. Let me let me tell you how God worked it out. Most people look out of the blind to see, you know, when 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 when, when the morning is coming. And we know the Bible says that weeping may endure, but for what? For night. That's right. But what coming in the joy is coming in the morning. That's right. And so what happens is, in order for you to identify your morning, you need to start lifting up the S O N. Uh, don't be looking for the S-U-N because it may be a different season in your life and you may not see that S-U-N. But if you would worship and praise and lift and magnify the S-O-N, I'm talking about Jesus, the son of the true and living God. I'm talking about the Elohim of Israel. I'm talking about the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I'm talking real talk here. I'm talking real ministry here. Because see, going to church and clapping your hand and jumping around and holding your phone and doing your two-step, that ain't going to help you deal with Monday morning when you got to go to work with them demons. Come on. That ain't going to help you Wednesday when you're worrying. Or it ain't going to help you on Friday when you're trying to cornrow your fingers, trying to figure out how you're going to work it out. But I want to tell you something, if you would just adopt a, an attitude of gratitude and be faithful and, and, and faithful to the things of God, not necessarily to a group or to an organization or denomination, that's not where it's at. You need to be faithful to praying, to seeking the Father like never before. You ought to say, God, I want to know you for myself. I know my grandmama told me about you, my granddaddy was the bishop, and, 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 and my great-granddaddy was, was the prophet, and my great Grand nanny was was the was the was the state evangelist and all that is fine. Uh, but the Bible says this in Philippians 2 and 12 that we ought to all be working out our own soul salvation. Our salvation with what? With fear and trembling. Let me tell you something. Don't allow the, the imps and demons and devils of this world to press the controls on your soul. Come on, don't let them play with your soul control. Come on. You need to be in control of your life. And so that only happens when you align yourself and your life, your mind, your body, your soul with the gospel of the kingdom. It's not about hooping and hollering and who can, you know, who can hoop and hack and listen. It's not about that. It's not about uh, your, 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 your educational prowess of academia, uh, your, 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 exegetical ability it's not about your your, your theological uh, accomplishments because let me tell you something saints I know a lot of preachers and teachers who got a lot of paper on their wall but they don't have no power active in their life oh I said something right there I said you got a lot of paper on the wall but you ain't got no power there there is no power whatsoever activative in your life you need power active in your life and power only comes from God. It don't come from political power. It don't come from positioning because we learned that about Adam. Adam was positioned next to his wife but what did he do? 
he didn't say nothing. He just went along with the situation. And I know a lot of preachers and a lot of people, a lot of brothers want to put women down and say, women got us in this situation. No, 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 no. See, there was a set man in order. And so God is a God of order. And so when he gave the instructions to Adam, Adam was supposed to regurgitate. He was supposed to repeat and bring back up what God gave him. Uh, but he didn't say nothing. I'm convinced that many people think their position gives them power. It's not the position. It's you speaking with power, speaking words of power that God will then in turn give you a global platform to be heard. And see, your words won't return into you void neither. The words that speak out of your mouth will be just like the Father's. It will accomplish what you send it out to do. But see, that's the difference between visualizers and visionaries. Some people see things and they talk a good talk, but they don't walk the walk. See, when it comes to the Bible, people love to tote it and quote it. Ah, but it's a challenge when it comes to living it to give it. This is Apostle BBJ and this is God Core. We are the Kingdom Power Moving Church. And if you desire to connect with this vision, this ministry, this is all about global marketplace ministry. Marketplace ministry, what is that? It's all about impacting and influencing the global marketplace. Doesn't matter where you work, doesn't matter with your age, you know, whether you're male or female, doesn't matter what denomination, it doesn't matter where you live. Let me tell you something. It's all about you trusting God to do a work in you and to elevate you. It's all about elevation in this hour. And you cannot elevate without the word of God. I want to tell you something. Elevation doesn't come from the north or the south, the east or the west. But elevation comes from the almighty Elohim of Israel. It comes from the supreme living, true God. The one who gives you the breath of life, the opportunity to do the one who gives you his Holy Spirit to live on the inside of you so that you have the ability to do what you need to do. We all have different callings. We all have different gifts. People say, is that BBJ the rapper? The one, come, is that him? Yes, I'm alive. I am well. I am walking in the faith of the Most High. Yah, let me tell you something. And God is my everything. I want to give a shout out to my beautiful queen, Shani J, the one who is still for BBJ, the only woman that I love with all my heart, my body, and soul. I'm telling you something. Shani J is my queen. She's my neck. And I'm going to tell you something. You preachers, if you think you got it going on, you tell me you're the head of the ministry, head of the church, and all that stuff. If you don't wash and protect and love your neck, Ah, your neck is your support system. And let me tell you something. It's not about you running around like a chicken with your head cut off to my church and ministry. And your, your family is taught from the floor, but you're trying to save the whole world. Oh, I'm preaching now. I'm preaching now. Let me tell you something. Things need to be in order. And so I teach the 5F principle. That's what we live by here. Faith, family, fun, finance, and fellowship. Stay connected to stay informed. We'll get more into that a little bit later on. This is Apostle BBJ, and this is God Core, and I love you. And there's nothing you can do about it. And yes, Jesus is Lord. He's the Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach, and he's our soon to come king. I love you. God bless you. Shalom. Hey yo, I was born to perform from the get-go Spitting rhymes to three, the beats on my headphones What you call a child prodigy, protege, raw, god core, uncut like pure cocaine Yeah, I know you wanna know my name up, and my game up And how a brother like BBJ came up, easy dude